Good morning, everyone. This is Ricky Laku, the drum guy. This is Ricky the drum guy. Today I'm doing a short tutorial on playing the, the triangle and finger cymbals. Uh, you may think it's easy. It looks like, oh, well, anybody can hit that. It doesn't make any difference. It's small. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to show you some basic techniques for playing an orchestra wind ensemble, concert band percussion ensemble, as well as playing in popular music. And I do a, I'm, I'm going to do a short skit on this well, as though you're playing in the orchestra or, a, or percussion ensemble, uh, also in um, symphonic band. Also, I'm going to be presenting a short t tutorial on playing um, finger cymbals. A lot of times I notice throughout my travels, I'm doing lectures and conferences and uh, uh, master classes, I notice young students, and even on the collegiate level, playing the triangle or finger cymbals in the wrong way. So I decided that I want to do a short series presenting the proper techniques for playing various percussion instruments. Today, I get started with the triangle. Here's a, a Allen Abel triangle here. I think it's a six inch here, smaller. You, you also need a clip so, so that you can properly position the triangle. I have a three beaters from small to medium and large, small, medium and large. So what you're gonna do is, when you properly hold your triangle, you want it in front of you so that your sound can be projected out to the to the orchestra or when on something. You want your sound to project. A proper striking measure is right here. See, I'm striking the, the triangle. You hear the sound? Another sound is here on the outside. You hear that sound? I like this sound over here. Sometimes when you're playing your particular sound that you like may be the best part that you, the sound that you're going for. Couple of techniques when you're striking, you're gonna do muffling techniques, which is like this. See? Muffling sound. Couple of techniques, another technique will be a roll on the, on the corner right here. Or right here. And you muffle it. See? So you had a uh, you play a passage and the and the ring lasts for four beats. One, two, three, four. You see? One, two, three, four. So you're striking. One, two, three. One, two, three. Muffling like that. Open, close. And what you want, you want your clip to be securely around your triangle so that when you're playing, your triangle isn't dancing like that. You see a lot of currents, the triangle is like running from the person as they're playing. You don't want that. You don't want that. Also, you, you don't want your uh, nylon string or some kind of device that is that is holding the triangle to be so tight that it's muffled. You hear that muffled sound? A muffled sound is good for for like another style, and I'll, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Again, basic techniques. It looks easy. See? Anybody can do that. It looks like that, you know. Or hit it right here. Here's another triangle, which is the Allen Abel one. This is a little bit thicker, you see, and a little bit bigger. It's an eight inch Allen Abel triangle. Same process. I like this sound. It's got a rich, full sound. You hear it? It all depends on what you're looking for. See that sound? As you notice, it, has, it doesn't have a pitch. It's kind of pitch, but because of the overtone series, you're gonna hear kind of like two notes in it. It's kind of, there's a lot of dissonance. And you don't want your triangle to be pitched because it's going to interfere with the intonation and the tuning of the ensemble that you're playing in. Here's another technique again. Like playing like this. That sound. See? Muffling, roll. Right here. Here's another triangle. This this is the what is this one? This is the Grover Symphonic Triangle. Sounds like this. See this sound here? It's bigger, but it's 12. Look at that. A lot of dissonance. I don't like the tone out. I like the I don't like the, the, the control of the sound or the overtone series in this one. But I would use this one for like a, diff a different genre. I'll have to show you that in a minute. But for example, like it may look easy, but however it's not. For example, I give you 
And the main part about playing triangle, you really have to be focused and really have to be in tune, even though the parts may require simplicity and playing roles and muting, extra, but the main that I consider the most difficult is actually focusing it, because I'm gonna give you a short um, sketch on how, what it's like to play in wind ensemble, playing in the symphony, or playing in concert band, playing triangle. Here we go, we're getting ready to play. The conductor starts off. One, two, three, four, dress, two, three, four, one thousand, two, three, four, five thousand, two, three, four, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Boom. Maku, you missed it. Oh man, I missed it. It's like that, you know, and if you're playing concert band music, you may miss a lot if you're not focused on counting, because there's a lot of rest. I do an example again, you're playing on measure one, then you're out for ten thousand measures. If you if you start starting your mind roam or something, you're gonna miss it. So you gotta make sure you're really focused. One, two, three, four, hundred thousand, one million, two million, bing. So you gotta be you gotta be aware of it. Also, you're gonna notice too, like, like this is a, a larger beater. It has a bigger sound. Hear that fuller sound. Now you might not like that sound, but you can't use this for playing soft. This one for soft. See that soft sound? Beautiful sound, beautiful sound. Hear that sound? Now, sometimes if I'm playing like like a commercial music, popular music, I, I, I remove the string, the clip, and use my hands. Like say, say I'm playing like an R&B ballad, like a slow jam. Whoop, that's an African-American word for like a, um, a slow song or it's a ballad, see? <laughs> Like a slow jack. Hey baby. Hey girl. Hey baby. Hey now. See you like that. Are you playing a lot of like Brazilian music? Got it. <laughs> Kind of like that. That's my triangle. Finger symbols. I know you see them with like dancers and stuff like that as well, but I'm, I'm using the finger symbols in the, con in the context of playing concert band. Whereas I see, again, I go a lot of, I attend a lot of performances, and you see a lot of people playing the finger symbol like you do marching band symbol. And that's, that's the incorrect way of playing. You see a lot of ensembles doing that. But actually, you hold the symbol from the outside and you strike the finger symbol like this. See that sound? Muffle, turn it around. This plate hits that plate. Or you take both plates, let this, this inside plate hit, this inside plate hit that outside plate. See? Muffle. Again, I tend to like this sound better. That's my tutorial for today. Triangle and finger symbols. Guys, have a great day. It's Ricky the Drum Guy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.